Today, I'm going to talk to you about how amazing life is and how fucking incredible this human experience is and how we tend to just take it all for granted. And my goal for today's episode is to help you reframe your mindset in some sort of way and to help you go through today with much more gratitude after listening to this episode than if you hadn't listened to this episode. Now, before we go into it, I do want to say this. I'm not saying when I say life is amazing, I'm not saying that life is perfect. Um, I'm not saying that there isn't some bad stuff that goes on in the world. I'm not saying that there are. It's it's just this perfect you know, uh, oasis that, that the world is. No, there's things happening. There's good things happening. There's bad things happening. There's always good things and bad things happening. There always have been, and there always will be. But what I'm more of what I'm talking about is how we can start to live our lives with more gratitude every single day. If we can live our life, if you can live your life today with 1% more gratitude than you did when you woke up, then that's a win. And if you can wake up tomorrow and have more gratitude, 1% more gratitude tomorrow than you did today, then that is a win. And I remember watching a comedian talk about this like 10 years ago, and he was talking about how everything is amazing and nobody's happy. And what he was explaining is he was explaining the first flight that he had been on when Wi-Fi on planes came out. Because at one point, there was no such thing as Wi-Fi on planes, right? And this is like 10 years ago, and everyone was so excited. They were finally going to be able to be on a plane for hours and hours and still be connected to the internet. And about halfway through, you know, 20, 30 minutes into the flight, the Wi-Fi stops working. And so the stewardess gets on, stewardess is like, I'm so sorry, everybody. This is, this, it, it completely went out. We're going to try our best to fix it. And the guy next to him is like, Psh, this is bullshit, right? And he, he was talking about how crazy it is that this guy that was next to him was so mad about something that he didn't know existed 20 minutes ago, as if the world owed him something. And, you know, another thing that people tend to do, he talks about, is that people tend to act like being on an airline is the worst thing. Like when you pick somebody up from traveling and you're like, how's your day? They're like, oh God, it was just such a long day of travel. And how, you know, oh my gosh, I had to be on a plane for five hours. And he talks about how, you know, the New York, to LA takes five hours. It used to take 30 years. And, you know, a bunch of people would die along the way. And a bunch of people would have babies. And if if you went from New York to LA, by the time you got to LA, it was a completely different different group of people and you were 30 years older. Now it takes five hours. And people are like, oh my God, we were delayed on the runway for, for 30 minutes. Everybody in every single flight should be sitting in their chair like, holy shit, this is amazing. You're literally sitting on a chair in the sky. But what we do is we get used to things. And then when we get used to things, we start to find the negative in things because naturally human minds tend to go a little bit negative. And, you know, one thing that I think is really important for us to think about is, you know, I always hear people talk about, oh my God, but, you know, phones are so addicting and technology is getting crazy and it's really starting to screw things up. Technology is not screwing anything up. People are screwing it up. Like take your cell phone, for instance, right? Think of all of the things. I remember when I was a kid, you know, I was born in the 80s. So I've seen from what before cell phones were really around and before they blew up into what they are now, before the iPhone, before, you know, all of the the smartphones came out. I remember what the world was like. And if you look at your phone and you look at how your phone has replaced so many things that you used to have to buy, it's quite incredible, right? So when you look at your phone, you can be like, oh my God, this thing is so addicting. Or you could be like, this thing is a camera. This thing is a camcorder. If for those of you guys that aren't old enough, there used to be cameras and there used to be camcorders. They weren't the same thing. You used to be able to take pictures on one thing and then you used to be able to take videos on another thing, but they weren't the same thing. You know, the, it replaces the radio. It replaces CDs. It replaces, uh, your, your phone replaces books. Your phone replaces calculators. Your phone replaces a uh, voice recorder. What else does it replace? It replaces GPS. It replaces a flashlight. It replaces a scanner. It replaces a leveler. It replaces a a compass. Your phone replaces a video game console, a credit card, because you can literally check out from your phone nowadays. Uh, It replaces your alarm clock. It replaces a stopwatch. It replaces a timer. It replaces a calendar. It replaces a notepad. It replaces a photo album. It replaces, you know, uh, newspaper. It replaces, you know, there's guitar tuners now. You You can use your phone as a remote control for your TV. 
Uh, some cars start from phones now. It replaces car keys. And, and if that's not impressive enough, it has all of the knowledge that mankind has ever known through Google and the internet. So we can sit back and we can look at these things and be like, oh my God, technology is so terrible, which cool. I guess it can be if you want to look at it through that lens. Or you can look and be like, holy shit, life is amazing. There's so many incredible things that humans as we progress and technology as it progresses, so many incredible things that we get that we've never had before. It's literally the most amazing thing when you actually stop, you take yourself out of your day to day and you start to look around at the world. And you start to look around at, at everything humans have created in technology. And it's the most incredible piece of machinery if you look at the phone, but you're not supposed to be addicted to it. You can become addicted to it because it is so amazing, but you're letting it be what it is. It's a great servant, but it's a terrible master. But you have to decide as the adult, as the human, how you want to use it. But if you look at it and you just think about this thing is an incredible piece of technology, you're probably listening to me on it right now. That's a pretty incredible thing if you actually start to think about it. And so you literally start to take a second and you realize, oh my God, like things are pretty amazing. If you think about like one of the things I was thinking about when we were traveling to Italy last year, there was a time when there was no such thing as security. Now there's a time where there's not just such thing as security, but I could be, you know, eating a croissant and having a cappuccino overlooking a beautiful fountain in Rome, Italy, and I can get a notification that somebody is dropping off a package in my front yard from thousands of miles away. And I can talk to the Amazon guy through my security camera and ask him where to leave my package. That's pretty incredible if you think about it. If you think about like text messages, there was a point where people used to write letters. Like my grandparents met each other, dated for a couple months. My grandfather went off to World War II and they literally wrote each other letters. Now we can send a text message. Somebody gets it like a half a second on the other side of the world. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you love this video, please hit the like button. It helps more than you know. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button so that you could see some more and get notified the next time I post. We still have all the letters they wrote each other. We, they had to write each other letters. So my grandma would literally write to my grandfather it would take a few weeks for it to get to him. He would then get it. And mind you, she didn't even know if he was still alive because there wasn't that much of a response. They weren't really able to call back home back then. And so she's writing to this guy. It'd take a few weeks for him to get it. He would finally get it. He'd write her a letter and be a few weeks back. So she would send him a message and not hear back from him for like a month to six weeks. That's pretty incredible. If you think about the fact that I can send a text message from my phone and it'll get to somebody on the other side of the world in a second. That's pretty incredible, right? So there's so many amazing things that if we just take ourselves out of our own head and we look at it, we're like, man, uh, yeah, this is pretty amazing. Like there's so many incredible things that are around me. Could life be better? Sure. Could I have more of this and more of that and less stress and you know more happiness and all that? Sure. Of course I can. But at the same time, we can also take ourselves out of our lives, look at it and be like, damn, I should be really grateful for all, of I, all that I have. I don't take enough time to be grateful for every th single thing that I have. When's the last time that you woke up and you know enjoyed your cup of coffee and looked at your house or your apartment and realized that what you have now is what you probably wanted 5, 10, 15 years ago? Have you ever thought about that one? Like you 10 years ago, like if I just take myself as an example, myself 10 years ago would see what I have now and be like, holy crap, I want that so bad. Me 15 years ago, when I was living off of pasta for two months because I was so broke and I was five months behind on my car payment, would look at the life I have now and be like, holy shit, that is the most incredible life ever. And then sometimes I wake up and I'm still not as grateful as I could be, right? What about you? Think of your life. It might be great right now. It might be good. It might be pretty good. It might be terrible. Whatever it is, it's still amazing. If you're listening to me right now, Think about this for a second. If you're listening to me right now, the quality of your life is right now a hundred times better than a king or queen's life was 500 years ago. Think about that for a second. Like how incredible is that to realize that your life right now is probably a hundred times better than a king or queen 500 years ago. 
And we're still sitting around and we're like, mm, my AC doesn't get as cold as I want it to, right? We have food, we have water, we have shelter, we have a couple people that love us. And we're like, mm, but I want more. I want more things. I want to put more clothes in my closet. I want to get a nicer car in my garage. I want to have a nicer house. I want to move out of this apartment because it's not as nice as I want it to be. Take a second to take yourself out of it and realize how amazing things actually are. Because here's the thing that's the secret to the universe that I've come to find. I don't come to, I don't try to act like I know how the universe works or that I'm smart enough to understand all of this stuff. But you will not be given more than you currently have if you can't be grateful for what you currently have. It's just, I, I've never seen someone that, that works this way. You will not be able to have more than you currently have if you are not grateful for what you currently have. It's like a child that just constantly complains. If a child complains to you and complains to you and complains to you, are you going to want to give that child more? Or are you going to be like, this kid sucks, right? So if you're constantly complaining to God or the universe and complaining and complaining and complaining, and complaining it's going to be the same thing where it's like looking at that child and be like, this child sucks. This, I've given this child so much and this child is not grateful for it, right? The universe or God is not going to trust you with more until you become a good steward for what you already have. So if you look at what you have and you're not as grateful as you could be, is there room for opportunity there? Because here's an interesting thing. What you focus on, you will get more of. What you focus on, you will get more of. If you focus on how you're not happy and you don't have what you want, you don't have the relationship that you want or the bank account that you want, and this is going wrong and this is going wrong and this is going wrong and this is going wrong. If you're searching for what's going wrong and what the problems are in your life, you will always find more things forever that are going wrong. You will always find more things to be offended by. You'll always find more things that are not the way that you want them to be. That's just the way that it works. What you focus on will grow. But if you take yourself out of your head and you say, maybe I should actually try to be a little bit more grateful for what I have because I do have a lot more than I ever have before. Things are going pretty well. They're going better than they were a few, a few months ago. If you take a second and you focus on all of the things that you have that you'd be grateful for, then you might, not, you might be sitting there and be like, I don't have much. Yeah, well, you've still got more if you're listening to me. You've still got more than probably 95% of people in the world, right? There are, there are people who would love to have your life. And we're sitting here and we're like, mm, I don't have enough. I want more, right? Think about that for a second. There are people in this world that would literally do anything to have the life that you have. And you might not think that it's the best thing in the world, but there's some people on the other side of the world that would love to literally just have what you have and they don't want anything more. If you focus on the fact that you have so much to be grateful for, it's really weird how it works out. But God, the universe, whatever it is that happens to be out there is like, hey, you've been grateful for this. Let me give you a little bit more. You've been grateful for this. Let me give you more to be grateful for. You've been grateful for this. Let me give you a little bit more to be grateful for. So if you constantly focus on what you don't have, you will get in, in what you want. You will always find more things that you want, right? If you want more money, money is just numbers. You're just, non, numbers never end. There'll always be more that you could get. A trillion dollars? Well, there's always two trillion. There's always three trillion, 10 trillion. It goes on and on and on. If you're constantly searching of, uh, for your happiness in numbers and things externally outside of you, you'll never be happy. But if you start to actually look around you and be grateful for what you have, you'll start to realize that you'll get more things. You become a great steward of what you have. You'll be able to have more things to be grateful for and more things to be grateful for. And so really what I want you to realize for the rest of today, when you turn this podcast off, when you go into your life, when you go into your office, when you go back and hang out with your kids, just take a quick second, breathe and look around you and realize that what you have now, some people would kill for. What you have now is what you wanted 10 years ago. What you have now is more than you've ever had. And life will continue to get better when you start to focus on all that you have and all the, all the things that are around you you have to be grateful for. If you find things to be grateful for, you will be given more things to be grateful for. But if you find things that are problems, you will always find more problems as well. What you focus on expands. So be very, very careful with what it is that you're using your delicate energy and mental power to focus on because what you focus on, you will get more of and you've got so much to be grateful for.